Learning to Love Art Storybook Illustrations in Art What are your favorite storybooks? Do you like stories about little girls who live in big cities? Or stories about toys that come to life? One of the things that you probably love most about your favorite storybooks are the illustrations that come with them. Illustrations in storybooks can be very beautiful, and many of the most beautiful storybook illustrations were made in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Let's look at some of them together. The first illustration we are going to look at today is from a storybook telling the story of Vasilisa the Beautiful, a fairy tale heroine who is the Russian equivalent of Cinderella. This illustration was made by Ivan B. Lieben in 1899. This illustration is meant to depict a part of the story that you may not be familiar with, in which Vasilisa's evil stepmother and stepsisters have sent her into the forest to find the eerie witch Baba Yaga. The illustration lets us know a lot about what is going on in the story. According to this very old story, Baba Yaga lives in a hut that stands on chicken legs, surrounded by skulls on poles. We can see that the artist has matched the story's descriptions exactly. He also adds his own creative vision to this illustration through the intricate border of mushrooms. One art style that was very popular during the time period that Ivan B. Lieben was alive was the Art Nouveau style. Many artists involved in the Art Nouveau style use flattened floral patterns, and we can definitely see that B. Lieben does this as well in his illustration. Many of the plants on the ground and around Vasilisa seem flattened. We can also see repetitive patterns on her dress, echoing the plants around her. Another illustration we will look at today is called Aschenputtel Goes to the Ball, which was made by the English illustrator Arthur Rackham. It was published originally in 1909 in a storybook called Snowdrop and Other Tales by the Brothers Grimm. Because the Brothers Grimm came from Germany, the title of this illustration takes its name from the German version of Cinderella, which is Aschenputtel. One of the biggest reasons why this illustration is so beautiful is because of the elegant, flowing dress that Aschenputtel is wearing. It is so delicate, it looks like it is made of wispy clouds. Like Ivan B. Lieben, Arthur Rackham was influenced by the Art Nouveau style as well. One other defining feature of the Art Nouveau style was the big swirls that repeated themselves across paintings, posters, and illustrations. We can definitely see such loose, flowing curves in Aschenputtel's dress, and also in her hair. The last illustration we will look at today was made by the Scottish artist Anne Anderson, and it was originally published in the storybook Old, Old Fairy Tales in 1935. Like the prior two illustrations we have seen, this illustration is also meant to depict Cinderella. Even though it depicts the same story, there are many differences between this illustration and the prior two. One of the most important is that this illustration is not as heavily influenced by the Art Nouveau style. Also, it depicts a scene of action, unlike the illustrations by Rockham and Belieben, which showed Cinderella pausing to greet someone or to look around. Even so, we can see a lot of details in Anne Anderson's illustration, which help us to make out the story. We can see Cinderella running down the stairs of the palace, looking behind her to see that her glass slipper has fallen off her foot. We can see that her beautiful ball gown has vanished, and that she is in her work rags again. In the background, we can see courtiers from the ball chasing after her. These details easily let us know what part of the story this is meant to be. I hope that this lesson has helped you to see that creating illustrations for stories can be more complex than it looks. Storybook illustrators can be affected by trends and style, just like painters and sculptors can. These illustrations affect how we imagine the story by the choices the artist makes about what details to include. I'll see you again soon. Bye!